I felt that it's important that the world knows that we as a family are sticking together. We are not just going to let this be another case that's swept under the rug. He took our family from us. That's something we can never get back. So we feel how we feel. And I feel like everybody could agree with me. We have to have justice for this. There's no easy route out for us because we had to bury our family members, so there's no easy route out for him. No bond. And you said something in there that kind of caught my ear as you were like, the grieving process is continuing because of all these extra charges. Happened. Right. So what's that like as a family member? Additional charges are getting added. For one, he took, might as well say, two matriarchs of our family at one time, other family members. So the grieving process already was major. And every time there's a new discovery in this case, it's like a blow to the family. So it's like a band-aid being ripped off every time. And we have to deal with this as a family. And it's like, he wants to take the easy road. No, we have to grieve properly. We want the proper steps taken so we can heal properly when this is all over. And what would it have been for you and your family today if he had actually been here with me and to be able to say to the head big directly how you guys feel? What would that have been? Honestly, I stand on what I say, and I do dislike him a lot. Um, will I forgive him? No time soon, no. Um, seeing him, it would have brought a lot of anger and rage um, because of what he did, the heinous crime that he did to us. So, yeah, it would have been the same thing. How's this your wife? Is she out of the hospital? Is she okay? Um, we not as liberty to say. love our family and we're going to make sure we see this thing through.